Hey there, Tiffany Thomas with TheWealthyTiffany.com, and in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about how I have saved thousands of dollars on financial advice. And before we dive in, if you are ready for financial freedom right now, comment freedom below in the comments. And if you are really serious about becoming financially free at a young age, click the link below this video in the description and I can help you do that. All right, let's talk about how I have been able to save thousands of dollars in financial advice. And this, this doesn't only save you money, but it saves you time and makes your life a lot better. Uh, it makes decisions a lot easier and really benefits your whole life, not just the monetary aspect of your life. And the way I've been able to save thousands of dollars in financial advice is by doing my own research. And I know some of you may not be super keen on studying about finances, about how to reduce your taxes or what investments to be making and whatever it might be. Um, but just doing a little bit of research can save you thousands of dollars and it doesn't have to be hard. It can be kept very, very simple and save you a ton of money. And I kind of just want to break down what I have done in my life uh, to show you exactly how I've saved thousands of dollars in financial advice and, and also lost money um, by getting financial advice, if you will. So um, I used to be really big into saving, but not so much in investing. And that's kind of part of my story. I had a large amount of uh, money in my savings account, but I was really afraid to invest. I was nervous about losing all of my money and just really had a fear of investing. I didn't really understand it and kind of felt overwhelmed um, by investing. And as I started to talk to others, talk to some of my friends who were investing, um, they shared the benefits of investing, um, which really got me thinking, okay, this is something that I really need to do. And then they kind of, you know, broke it down a little bit and just simplified it and shared with me their strategies on how they were investing. And I started to think, okay, maybe this isn't so hard. And I did a little bit of research online and found out what people were doing that, um, were, that were successful with their investments and started following some, um, some online mentors, if you will. And just to name a couple, um, Paula Pant at affordanything.com is one that I follow a lot. I think she is fantastic and she is big into real estate investing. Um, and then I found JL Collins and he has a whole stock series on his website. So he talks about basically how to invest very simply in the stock market and still get good returns, really good returns. And, you know, I kind of just started doing this research and came to the conclusion that it's not that hard to invest. And, you know, before I started researching online, um, I had uh, talked to my 401k advisor at my previous employment employer. And, you know, I was talking to him about it and he kind of made some recommendations for me and I met with him a couple times and thought, okay, maybe, you know, I could have him handle it. But once I started doing this research online and talking to more people, uh, come to find out he, he didn't really have my best interest in, at heart. Um, so I was investing in things that were more expensive and weren't giving me higher returns. So it wasn't worth it to do that. So I, I had a little meeting with him and said, um, yeah, I'm transferring all of my money uh, over to Vanguard and no longer using you. And I feel so good about that decision. Uh, <laughs> I just, I know that I've saved honestly thousands and thousands of dollars and it's not because I'm investing thousands and thousands of dollars every month. It's because by having those little fees, um, whether you are paying for a financial advisor, maybe a percentage, um, of your investments, or the fees that are associated with what you're investing in. Um, there's, when you're investing in different funds, um, in like your 401k or maybe an IRA or something, there's an expense ratio associated with those, with those funds. Um, so you're paying out a certain percentage to invest your money in those funds. And 
that compounded over time is going to be thousands and thousands of dollars, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars, uh, depending on how much you're investing and continue to vest, invest over time. Um, so yeah, so I felt really good about ending that relationship um, with him and switching all of my money over to Vanguard. I had um, a traditional IRA and a Roth IRA. And so I switched those over to Vanguard and then I started my own brokerage account um, with Ally Invest, A-L-L-Y, um, and started investing on my own in stocks in that account, in my brokerage account with Ally. And I am, I'm just so happy I have done that because honestly, I've saved thousands and thousands of dollars. And I know that I lost thousands of dollars because one of the recommendations he gave me um, my 401k advisor was to invest in a certain life uh, life insurance policy and you know I, I didn't know anything about that um, but he was recommending it and so I thought okay well you know he probably is recommending something that would be good for me um, but that wasn't actually true I talked to some other people that knew more about that um, and so I ended up just just canceling my policy and I had already invested thousands of dollars in that so I just completely wrote that off and was like that's an expensive learning mistake um, but I've learned from it and it's not going to happen again and that's the thing like I continue to learn and by continuing to learn and do research um, and ask people that I trust um, I'm able to save thousands of dollars in financial advice so I just wanted to share this with you guys and I want you to really think, um, you know, what, <laughs> what is it that you're doing with your money and what do you want to be doing with your money um, and how important is that to you? Um, is it important enough to do a little bit of research and be able to save thousands and thousands if not hundreds of thousands of dollars over time by um, taking care of your money? by doing your own investments and and you know like I said it doesn't have to be hard and I have plenty of information and um, I've done a lot of YouTube videos and I have some courses um, you know so there's things available for you uh, to make it very simple and it, it really doesn't have to be complicated and you don't you don't have to spend a ton of time doing research on investments um, to to find good investments and to get good returns. It can be very, very simple. Um, that's how I like to invest. And I still get good returns. I mean, I've gotten over 100% return on my stocks in the stock market. And I also love investing in real estate. Um, and I've learned a lot of things along the way. I've made mistakes, but I've learned from those and continue to get better and better. So hopefully these thoughts kind of kind of help you think more about your money and how you want to be handling things. Um, and if, if you're okay, maybe you're okay spending thousands and thousands of dollars on financial advice. Um, but I just want you to kind of think twice about it um, because it's really not that hard and there are resources available. Um, like I mentioned, I have plenty of resources available that can definitely help you. And there's so many other great mentors and resources that can be really beneficial and save you so much money, especially over the long term. Um, and if you, yeah, if you guys have more questions about this, please post them below. I would love to hear your questions. Or if there's another topic that you want me to do a video about, please comment below and tell me what that is. I would love to do that for you. And yeah, you guys, um, I, I really want you to take control of your money and start making it work for you. And you know, sure, there will be mistakes along the way, but you can continue to improve over time. Uh, so if you guys found this video helpful, please like it and share it with someone else who needs this information. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.